From the urine tax to the construction of enormous arenas, here are 42 fascinating facts about the Roman Empire that you probably didn't know. The Roman Empire left an indelible mark on the world. They invented concrete, which is the foundation of the modern world. They also invented newspapers, books, and much more. Here are 42 facts about the Romans that you probably didn't know. In 133 BC, Rome is believed to be the first city in the world to reach more than one million inhabitants. Some sources say that Rome had a population approaching one million in the second century AD. Two, ancient Rome was the first society to offer social security style government support. Ancient Rome offered its citizens a service called the grain dole. This was a government program that offered a subsidized grain mix to Roman citizens. It is estimated that up to 200,000 of Rome's adult male citizens were eligible for this support. This practice lasted until the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD. Three, the vast majority of ancient Rome is buried under modern Rome. This is because the Romans would build a new building on top of an old one instead of demolishing it. Four, the plays in Rome were so advanced that they could reenact sea battles with life-size ships called Naumachia. In 46 BC, Julius Caesar ordered the digging of a huge basin at the Campus Martius outside the Roman walls and filled it with water. The event was to celebrate Rome's recent victories. A thousand prisoners played the role of soldiers and rowers. The story of the victories that united the empire was told. The games were organized very rarely because they were extremely costly. Five, let me be clear. The largest arena built by the Romans was not the Colosseum. The Circus Maximus can hold more than 250,000 people. The Colosseum could hold 85,000 spectators. Six, it is beyond doubt that more than one million animals and more than half a million people died in the Colosseum. Seven, the Colosseum was originally called the Flavian Amphitheater as it was built by the emperors of the Flavian dynasty. Eight, let me be clear. The saying, as long as the Colosseum stands, Rome will stand. When the Colosseum collapses, Rome will fall. When Rome falls, the world will end, is not actually about the Colosseum as popular belief. At that time, there was a huge statue of Nero right next to the Colosseum. As everyone knows, the statue fell, and today, only the remains of the pedestal on which it stood remain. Nine, Emperor Honorius discontinued gladiator fights in the Colosseum in the mid fifth century due to changing times and tastes. 10. The Colosseum was Rome's most popular attraction, with more than 4 million visitors a year. 11. Soldiers were tattooed on their right wrist and left forearm with their rank, legion, and date of enlistment. Tattoos were also used as a form of punishment or to mark someone as a criminal. 12. In 117 AD, the Roman Empire spanned from Britain to Egypt and North Africa. 13. The Romans believed that Rome was founded on 21st April 753 BC. 14. Palatine Hill, the center of ancient Rome, is the village that became Rome. Other villages were built around it and eventually came together to create Rome. 15. The Roman Empire conquered Greece, Spain, the coast of North Africa, much of the Middle East, modern-day France, and even England. However, they did not conquer Scotland because they found it too cold and did not like the barbaric guerrilla tactics of the Scots. Instead of conquering Scotland, they built a wall to keep them out. 16. The Roman Empire was divided into East and West. The Western Empire fell rapidly. The Eastern half, now known as the Byzantine Empire, with Constantinople as its capital, continued for centuries without falling until 1453. 17. The Byzantine Empire was not known as the Byzantine Empire or the Eastern Roman Empire by those who lived in it or anywhere else in the world. The people who lived in it regarded themselves as Romans and everyone else at the time regarded them as Romans. The reason we now call it the Byzantine Empire is that historians had to find a way to distinguish it from the old Roman Empire and the collapsed Western Empire. 18. The city of Rome was the first city to have a really complex sewerage system, 
capable of handling millions of liters of water a day. Some palaces were not connected to the sewerage system to avoid the risk of pests and the odor associated with it. Instead, some palaces used cesspits and chamber pots. 20. In public toilets in Rome, people sat side by side without cubicles. 21. There was no toilet paper, so sea sponges were glued to a stick and soaked in clean water to clean them. 22. The toilets were directly connected to the sewerage system, so there was a risk of spiders, mice, and snakes coming out of the holes. 23. The Romans created the first modern-style legal system. 24. In Roman culture, divorce was possible and technically very easy to do. To get a divorce, one or both parties in a marriage had to consider themselves no longer married. The most interesting thing about this was that it was only considered appropriate for the party to be divorced to notify the other party of the divorce, so there was no legal requirement to tell your spouse that you were divorcing them. Divorces were common, and divorced people were not looked down upon. 26. Emperor Nero is said to have married a young man named Sporus after having him castrated. Sporus is believed to have resembled Nero's deceased wife, Poppea Sabina, and so Nero treated Sporus as if she were his deceased wife, even calling her by her first name. It is also believed that Emperor Nero married a man named Pythagoras, probably in an unofficial ceremony. 28. Some sources believe that Nero was behind the great fire in Rome and may have started it so that he could build his huge palace, the Domus Aurea, Nero's golden house. 29. The Romans were the first to set up a special fire brigade because they built most of their buildings using timber. In 22 BC, Emperor Augustus set up a 600 slave organization to protect the city. However, it could not save Rome from the devastating fires that occurred during the reign of Emperor Nero. 30. The Romans built the first road in Europe in 312 BC, and it was called the Appian Way. 5,000 translation results. The Romans had a system of underfloor heating called the Hippocaust system, which worked by pushing hot air from a furnace under the floor using terracotta pipes. The system was mostly used in palaces, and the best known surviving example of the system is in the Palace of Domitianus. 32. The first aqueduct built was the Aqua Appia, built by the Romans in 312 BC. The Romans were so skilled at building aqueducts that some carried water as far as 100 kilometers away. In total, there were 11 major aqueducts built to bring water to Rome. It was perfectly acceptable for a Roman citizen to perform oral sex. However, anyone who performed oral sex on another person would be treated as a leper. 34. The Romans were the pioneers of hygiene and were by far the cleanest civilization of their time. 35. Large apartment blocks were built in Rome with more than seven stories. The ancient apartment blocks were called insula. The upper floors were narrower than the lower floors, and you had to climb more than 200 steps to get to the top floor. 36. Ancient Rome was full of fast food outlets. This is because the majority of the population lived in overcrowded accommodation without cooking facilities. Therefore, people would often go to stalls known as thermopolia and buy hot takeaway food. 37. Julius Caesar created the Julian calendar, which had 365 days in a year, with an extra day at the end of February every four years. The first great palaces were built on the Palatine Hill, there was once a tax on urine in Rome. Urine is a source of ammonia, a natural bleach, and Romans used urine to clean clothes. Emperor Vespasian was aware that laundries were collecting urine for free by leaving out pots where people could urinate, and that people were selling their urine to laundries. He therefore decided to introduce a tax on the sale of urine. Julius Caesar was never emperor. Julius Caesar was a very powerful and successful general who won a civil war against his rival Pompey, which allowed him to become dictator. He was the first dictator of the entire Roman Empire. He was the first man to take control of the entire empire single-handedly. Therefore, after his death, his name became inextricably linked with the title of emperor to the point that everyone believed he was the emperor. However, Julius Caesar was a military general who became a dictator, uniting the Roman Empire 
under his sole rule. 41. Julius Caesar's unification of Rome under his rule brought the empire into a period of relative peace and stability that lasted for more than two centuries. 42. Julius Caesar disliked being bald so much that he made it illegal for anyone to stand on his head so that no one could see his baldness. We offer you deep historical information from history on YouTube channel. Subscribe. Now don't forget to turn on notifications.